everyone it's dog for AIPT and what have we got here it's an envelope it's the envelope we've all been waiting for I'm gonna open it here yeah. yes my goodness the beats of the Mesozoic from David Silva the Raptor series my Atrasa Raptor is finally here I had to get it almost solely because of the name uh, you saw Robert Reed's amazingly detailed um, review of the several raptors he got recently uh, on AIPT Science. Um, he didn't have this one though. So uh, I'm going to take this and open it and marvel at it and uh, you can join me. Okay, I've got the raptor out of the box, but I wanted to go back to the, the box itself for a second. Say hello to Orson again, the cat who has to be in every video because he's attention starved. Um, so this is Deet, a checklist of all the raptors on the back. I mean, I don't know why you'd want to mark up this beautiful box, but it's still a cool feature. Some info on the Atraza Raptor, the Savage Plunderer. And this is such a nice box. As you can see there. Thankfully, they do credit the artists on the box. And look, 26 points of articulation. Display stand included. Wait, where is it? There, it's on here somewhere. There it is. There's the credit to the artists. And here's something else that's neat. A little reminder on the invoice, do not force tight joints. If a joint doesn't move, use a hairdryer or warm water to loosen the joint. I wouldn't have thought of that. That helps me. Thank you, David Silva. Here's the insert. A nice little forest scene. Where the Atrociraptor lived. And here's his little forest base. Be careful, this came in a little plastic bag. This piece was loose. So be careful when you open this, stuff might fall out. The other two plastic pieces were in the bag securely. And here he is himself, the Atrociraptor. Great coloring on this. Um, I actually looked up a little bit on the Atrociraptor a few moments ago. Uh, we don't seem to know too much about it. I think there's only one specimen and it was just the skull. Uh, we do have um, an idea of how some animals were colored. You can, they can find melanosomes, as I mentioned before, um, in the feathers. Um, that can kind of tell you what colors they were. Um, but David Silva has said that he kind of used living birds to imagine what animals, raptors, in those same environments might look like. Um, and I think this is just really cool with the red and the black. It kind of fits the evil sounding name. And look at this. Look at the teeth. And the eyes and the tongue. And the articulation really comes through. You can just see the jaw. You can close up, open with the tongue, and you can see Right there in the neck, all the different points of articulation. The wings, the arms, if you will. Look at those talons. That's something else. The legs, and yes, the feet. Look at how poseable and movable the feet are. And as Robert Reed mentioned in his article, um, the tail does, I haven't moved the tail from the position it came in, in the box, so it is crimped, and it does have the metal bendy in there, um, so that may, as he said, um, you know, it may kind of harm it if they're sitting around in the packaging too long, um, I haven't tried to stand this up yet, uh, Robert said they don't stand all that well, but we'll see, um, so that's Raptor in hand. Let me get him set up in all his glory.
There we go. Now that's a nice posed figure. Notice that, again, like Robert Reed said in his article, I used um, kind of a wider uh, base on the posing rod, the one that's supposed to clip onto the Raptor. Uh, yeah, maybe a little too small. Didn't want to damage it. But again, he's standing pretty well, you know. He's kind of sitting here. Now the gape. Doesn't get much better than that. And also, like Robert said, check this out. I can put forest accessory on forest raptor. Ta-da! For a full-on scene. With micro raptor flying in. Or fluttering in, or whatever it was that it did. Still a little unclear. Not pictured here. Wait for it. The alternate toes. <laughs> I think that's a good way to close out. Check out the article. Check out everything we've done on David Silva's Beasts of the Mesozoic, the most realistic dinosaur toys ever. And get ready for the Ceratopsians Kickstarter. <laughs>